I'm Randy Moy, I'm the curator of zoology at the Manitoba Museum. The uh, exhibit that is behind me here, uh, the Passenger Pigeon, 100 Years of Mourning, is really uh, just to remind people that this is the 100th anniversary of the death of the last passenger pigeon on Earth. And this is actually a, sort of an unusual extinction event because we actually have it timed essentially right down to the hour. It died in uh, 1914 on September the 1st, about two o'clock local time. The passenger pigeon was essentially an Eastern North American bird, although it, its range did stretch all the way to uh, the western edge of Manitoba. And the numbers of these birds was just incredible. Uh, estimated to be between three and five billion birds, which is about 25 to 40 percent estimated anyway of the entire population of birds in North America at that time. One of the ways they were exploited commercially was through trap shooting. What they did was catch uh, live pigeons, uh, bring them to events where they would put them into small traps and the trap would fall open, the bird would, would be scared and fly upwards and, and be shot at. Tens of thousands of these birds were captured every year uh, and brought to these tournaments. One of the items here was a bird that was donated by the Delta Marsh Foundation, and that's the one that's in the plexi case inside the exhibit itself. And the male specimen, which is the one that has a nice red uh, breast, is actually the last passenger pigeon collected in Canada. That was collected near Winnipegosis uh, in April of 1898. It is completely shocking to think that we had a bird of that kind of uh, population that we could wipe out essentially in about 50 years. By about the turn of the century, the, about 1900, there were no more birds in the wild. Today, we know uh, that we're having a huge impact on the environment all across the globe and the impact that humans can have frequently is far greater than we might ever imagine.